everybody out there in VW Life Land. Well, uh, here we are today again, uh, boys. Uh, we are on our way to a buddy's house. He has uh, just restored his uh, 66. Yes, he's got a beautiful 11 window uh, bus. It's, it's really nice. We're gonna go talk to him about the restoration process and kind of give you guys some helpful information if you're still restoring your Volkswagen. That's it. I think the whole thing on this is, uh, since this is his first split window bus, he wants us to kind of like, just kind of give it a once over. He's a little worried about some of the noise coming out of the reduction boxes and things of that nature. So I think we're gonna kind of take a take a look at that and uh, just kind of go over it and tell him, you know, so, cause he, I think he's still got a bunch of little, little nitpicky things he needs to put Yeah, in. yeah. Mostly we're just gonna go over there and check it out and have some fun too. Yeah, well that's VW Life. And baby. lunch. Oh, we're gonna go accomplish lunch first. Let's accomplish lunch. We're good at that. So first impressions are... Oh my gosh, look at it, Matt Jackson. Beautiful. Uh, this is the true definition of beautiful. Look at that nose. Just amazing. Looks so good. <laughs> Hey everybody out there. So uh, here we are at BW Life and today we're over at our friend James's house. James, how's it going today? Good, good. So James has invited us over. Uh, he has put together in the middle of this process of putting together his 65 bus here. And it's uh, James is, uh, he is what we call a true uh, Volkswagen connoisseur. Everything that James touches turns to gold, so to speak. He had this beautiful, uh, when I met him, this really nice uh, uh, sea blue beetle. And then he had this just wonderful uh, bay window. And, uh, but James is a project kind of guy, so this will probably be for sale eventually. That's how <laughs> James rolls. <laughs> he, he makes everything perfect, then he sells it. And uh, James, it is uh, coming along nicely, my friend. Well, it's funny you say turning something into gold. Uh, when I first got this bus, first time my wife saw it, she said, that thing's a big piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I said, no, you just got to have the vision of That's it right. and see, see what's coming up. Yep. And as we move, as we're moving along on the project, of course, it gets its name and brings us to the name of it. It's called Shinola. Shinola. Because <laughs> it's either shit. See that? Yeah. That's shit. And this is Shinola. Or Shinola. There you go. I love it. That's how it, it got it. So name. this bus's name is Shinola. It's, that name is, is Shinola. Awesome. So uh, it's still a work in process getting there, but well, it, it's it's not on the uh, Shiza end anymore. It's more <laughs> on the Shinola end now. <laughs> it's absolutely. I mean, it's come. It has come a long way, and that's the, that's 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 what we love to see, man. That's what this is all about. It's finding something that was. That was kind of derelict and sitting out there, and then just start bringing it back. And uh, James, you, I mean, you went and picked this bus up out in El Paso, which is from from where we are. It's a good, like, ten hours or yeah. so at least. And then uh, you brought it back, kind of went through it. And then you located a, a paint and body guy here in town that was able to do that. But the cool thing I think what you did, James, was you, you told the guy says, "Look, take your time. Take your time. Didn't pressure him or anything. No like pressure that. on him. I just didn't want his." Him to set it off to the side and forget about it so i kept on him uh, but reasons why i told him take your time was number one if you rush somebody they're not going to do as good of a job mm -hmm. um, if you rush somebody the price is probably going to go up because they're going to get <laughs> fed up with you <laughs> right. telling them to hurry up uh, but i got lucky and found a good guy semi-retired pain and body guy and uh, it's not perfect but oh, it's man. very acceptable uh, Presentable. Yes, uh, I not, think not. Won't be afraid to drive it. Uh, may get scratched here and there, but that's what their floors drive. That's right. Got to drive them. Well, uh, that attitude that you had is like, hey, I'm not in a hurry. And you would say you it was convenient, so you could kind of go check in on. I could check on it. So. I checked up on it about twice a week because it's real close to where I worked. Uh, took the guy. He said it was going to take about two months when I 
first took him the project, but it ended up taking him about a year. <laughs> <laughs> but I was okay with that just because uh, he was cheap, and I think he did a pretty good job. I think he did too. I and it was the same too. thing with the guy with the headliner. Uh, he said it was going to take him about a week. It ended up take stayed with him for about a month, but. Well, I think we um, jumped. I, I didn't we, rush him. Sorry, James. Uh, yeah, you I, jumped ahead. I, I, of me. I said, hey, don't tell James. But I went to Pablo and said, Pablo, can you get? Can you do the harvest meal in front of James's bus? <laughs> I knew, so we <laughs> we jumped in line on James. Yeah, on that one. And in fact, you'll see this bus. I'll put a link to this that video right here when it was in the shop and we jumped ahead. Yeah, we're all scoping. We already seen your bus. There's about five cars that jumped ahead of mine. <laughs> Poor James. But James, I mean, it's just uh, did, uh, now who put into the safaris? I did. Okay. I, any troubles on those or anything like that? Uh, a lot of people like uh, we talk about safari sometimes, and I mean, in a split window bus, uh, it's it's a it's a necessity. It's just one of those things where take your time, right? Um, make sure we, before you drill your holes, that's where you want the hole, right? And um, other than that, it they go in very easily. Yes, they really are. are these uh, Wolfgangs. Wolfgang. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I put in three uh, sets of them, and I'm just pleased as punch with them as, as well and just get your tabs weld them in and it's not that big of a deal nope. it really isn't as far as the welds there and the good news here is you were able to put these in before the body work and so uh, no i did oh you did i did it afterwards yeah. you did yeah. okay all right <laughs> I, so I you came back and you came back so you why well, can't so you came back and did a little touch-up painting a little touch-up painting yeah. um the color's not exactly matched right but uh um, it's presentable. Oh, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Same thing with the I frames. Couldn't even, I couldn't even tell. If you yeah. look at it, they're just a shade off. Yep. And, but now, yeah, well, they're, yeah, that's one thing about these. When you get these from Wolfgang, they're like, gosh, they look like vanilla ice cream, the color almost, don't they? You know, that, that's that's it. And I, I have gone through, and you did the same thing, taped them off, mm -hmm. and oh my goodness, but it can be done. It's just, it takes time. Yep. That's all it is. James, let's, let's, let's talk about your paint real quick for a second. So this blue is a very unique blue. It's a... What, what is it again? It's an original Volkswagen color. It's right. called Regatta Blue. Okay. It's real, it came off of a 68, 69 Carmen Ghia. Okay. I think they used them on uh, Type 3s. Okay. And, well. and, and then this is uh, Cumulus White here. Cumulus White. Right. Yeah. I can't remember. L582. I don't know how to this, but yeah. yeah. Tell us a little bit about your headlights. I, I wanna, I, I'm a big headlight bucket guy. What did you do on these? these I've are, got, these are actually reproductions from uh, Wolfsburg West. The whole bucket and everything? The, the whole bucket, everything. It's just the kit that you order. I oh, have the original oh. ones up in the attic. Okay. Because, um, I mean, you have these lenses, as you can see, don't have, like, the, you know, the, the Hella or the VW markings on, but they're, man, but you've got to really know what you're looking at, but the buckets themselves and everything looks just they, perfect. They're a very nice reproduction. And they fit. I was going to restore the other ones, but by the time you figure the cost of stripping it down and painting or powder coating them, um, getting all new hardware and mm -hmm. stuff like i said it's a driver so yep. i just put something in there that was just looks great and i know it's gonna I, i'm sure these are wolfsburg west i've yes these things they're their fried eggs are just amazing looking i remember putting some of those on my old 13 window deluxe a while back uh, uh ziggy yeah hello. and ziggy oh yeah hello. oh yeah and I bought hello he i think it was a christmas, christmas present. present from santa so, what, <laughs> so did uh what about uh, your safari uh uh, antenna, how did, did you bend that or no? Did, no, yeah. I think I got that from CIP one. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. Got been getting most of the pieces from Wolfsburg West, a uh, few odds and ends from other places, right? Uh, just haven't done. you said, uh, you mentioned earlier that uh, the back bumper is a Wolfsburg West, right? Yes, that is a reproduction Wolfsburg West. And, uh, and no problems with fits or anything like that. No, it fit, it fit great, it looks really good. And, um, and I, I got the, the rain. Splash pans, right? Wolfsburg West as well, and and uh, did you get the brackets from them too? Uh, the brackets are original, but it, all the new hardware and stuff came from Wolfsburg West. Well, let's uh, let's take a let's just take a kind of a gander in here, and so um, all right, James. So uh, you had an apron, right? Or did you did you? Did this is original to the bus. Okay, original apron, all this. So James has a 1776 uh, Chum Bucket Special with some uh, that 40 uh, Weber kit from uh, MP, I think. Those are MP HPMX. HPMX, and tuned, uh, tuned by Chum Bucket. Tuned by the old Chum Bucket. So what a what a just I mean I, we know this thing's gonna run like a like a scalded dog. There's no no question there at all. And uh, look how it's just a really nice look how clean this engine compartment is. Just mm, amazing. It really is. It has all AN fittings from the tank all the way to the carburetors. Uh, 
It's got a, I think it's a Summit Racing fuel pump. Okay. With the built-in uh, fuel filter. In all it. right. And it's all, like I said, all AN fittings. That was a chore to get all these made and just the right size. And then, <laughs> it what, adds uh, up after a while. Where's the, where's the, is the, so it's an electric fuel pump. Where's the fuel pump mounted? It's made it mounted on the fuel rail on the driver's side. Okay. Okay. Wow. This is just really nice. Uh, let's take a look at that headliner real quick here, Matt Jackson. Let's just take a good, so people can kind of get an idea what you're looking at. I mean, so this is a kit from Wolfsburg West. So our buddies at Wolfsburg West, obviously you can see they just do an amazing job with the material and workmanship that they, they put into this. But then the, then the real work comes after you open up that box and put in a package. And we're fortunate enough here, here in, uh, uh, Cedar Park, Round Rock, Austin area, and we have a, uh, a, a guy extraordinaire, his name's Pablo, and you guys have heard us talk about him before. He did the uh, Harvest Beetle, he did my 67, and then Pablo put in this bus headliner. And probably all said and told, uh, ordering from Wolfsburg, Pablo's time, and putting in the insulation, James put this insulation in previously too. James probably estimates around $1,000, which is, uh, I mean, obviously, just beautiful money well spent without question because you can see the the quality of it and how it just really just makes the inside of the bus just so complete and a, a bus there's so much roof you've got to have something up there and uh it's been a long time since i've seen a bus with a correct headliner everything we put in is baltic birch and our campers and everything right we do kind of the uh the do-it-yourself home version right and this is more of the fa the factory stock version. Oh, yeah. so you're talking a little more money but you get uh oh, the, a the, more the, yeah what you bus. see is just amazing it's just it's been a long time since i've seen a bus with a with the headliner it's just perfectly done and it looks really nice and then James, uh, I believe you got the uh, the AC Industries disc brake kit from um, I believe SoCal. Yes, uh, I pointed it or I posted up a kind of an ins installation, just putting it blog I yeah. guess on uh, the air cooler site. Uh, just little things that I noticed about the kit, what I liked about it, which was pretty much the, the whole kit. Mm -hmm. Very easy to install. Uh, pointing out what tools you're going to need, what. Uh, how long it takes. It only took a couple hours. Um, to, for me, it was easier to install this kit than to do a set of drum brakes on the rear. Sure, you know, well, it just went because together yes, that easy. Yes. And uh, I, one of the things when I was crawling in there earlier, I noticed about this, it's, it's very impressive. They're vented rotors yes. and they are beefy. They're very heavy duty yes. rotors. So, the I mean, whole, the, the whole fact that they're, they're running well vented rotors, rotors, I think, is pretty impressive too, for sure. The caliper is supposed to be off of like a Jetta, late 90s Jetta. Okay. Um, I don't, uh, the rotors must be their own deal because uh, they're very heavy duty. Uh, so, um, uh, and it, it comes with a master cylinder already, dual circuit master comes with cylinder. Dual circuit master cylinder that Did, bolts right in. You just have to modify the brake lines just okay. a little and, bit. And what about your brake push rod? You know, did you have to change that, make that adjustment on that a little bit uh, in there? You I know? did just to get the fuel right, right where I wanted. You got to be careful not to go too, too tight. Right. Yeah. Once they heat up, it'll drag it, brakes. It'll, yep. it'll lock up on you. But uh, ask me how I know. <laughs> <laughs> you just got to pay attention to what you're doing and yep. it'll go together real smooth and uh, just excellent Gee, um, and then uh, James you said uh, now what color is your other steering wheel it's white so you got a, oh, you got a, you got a white wheel and then you're going to redo your and seats redo the, the seats haven't picked out colors yet um, that's the bad thing about this exterior color is a little difficult to match for upholstery. Right. Probably go some sort of gray. Okay. Um, and what you have plans, kind of, you're going to kind of go a little different back here. You have a, you have this. Uh, James is very good metal worker and woodworker too, folks. By the way, so amateur. Um, amateur. Uh, well, <laughs> well, no, yeah. we, no, your bus, the Duke, no. was uh, quite impressive. Yes. I remember distinctly how nice it was on the I'm inside. I'm going to do something very similar to what I had on. So on this my is kind of a, this is kind of a little bit of a blank canvas in here, James. So you. What are you thinking about doing here? I'm going to do a rock and roll bed back here. Okay. It's the couch that turns into a right. bed. Uh, I'm not going to do the Is it going to be? Length, okay. Uh, probably three quarter length, and then I'm going to do some sort of cabinets over there. I want to make a cabinet over here that with a drawer that slides open to hide my Yeti cooler. Okay. Um, but I want everything hidden. I haven't quite figured out how I'm going to hide the spare back there. You can just mount it on the nose. That's always a good look. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I haven't quite figured out what I'm going to do here. I think I'm just going to do uh, the, the regular stock panel here. Right. Um, just because yeah. the, the room 
climbing in and out. And what about a floor? Have you kind of figured that out? Floor, I think I'm going to do carpet. Okay. Uh, something to match whatever Matt, I do uh, on the upholstery. Matt Jackson has some nice uh, green shag. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. So rock, rock and roll Z-bed, cabinetry, be nice. You're going to have like a jump seat back here or just one seat, you think? Have you thought about that? And a table? What do you think? Anything like I'm going to do, definitely do a table because when you go out to eat somewhere, uh, mm -hmm. it's nice to sit out in the parking lot and you have your own personal it's wonderful. booth. Um, so maybe do some sort, maybe a folding jump seat there. Right. Awesome. Um, Man, I know, and I know when you do it, it's going to be amazing looking. It really is. So we're here to uh, kind of help James, aren't we? Well, yes. So James, uh, uh, this is your first split window bus, right? This is my first split. So it's first split window bus, Aww. and so oh, it's kind of. Oh, let's give James a split window bus hug. <laughs> Come on. Aww. Aww. So uh, so we're gonna we're gonna take James's bus for a spin. We're yeah. Probably, first of all, we're not gonna know what to do with forty HP MX. MP dual carbs. So first of all, I'm gonna probably pull a wheelie going down the street. Yeah, you're gonna. And uh, but no, we, we, James wants just just ride around and uh, and just kind of see what you know, uh, uh, the noises and things like that. Just kind of get a feel. Uh, we already know already. He's gonna he's gonna totally. We're gonna we're gonna do a center pin uh, and tie rods and a drag link. So we know that's that, that's definitely uh, on the list of things to to get done. But. Uh, you know, uh, you want to make sure the reduction boxes aren't, uh, you know, making too much of a howling noise. They do howl, and it's probably, and especially right now, since his bus is just a uh, hollow, pretty much hollow shell inside, it's going to be really like a, a you know, a tin can, right, uh, mm -hmm. to some degree there. Oh, also, you know what, uh, Matt Jackson, get, okay. a, get uh -huh. a shot of these tires. Right, this is something I wanted to talk about too, because in the tire world, we don't have a whole lot of options on the eight ply light truck tires. Yeah, so uh, especially in 14 inch, uh, you know, so from uh, mid 63 uh, up, uh, all buses ran for, even Vanagons, or, uh, Vanagons, you know, um, a job of, you know, that song. Anyway, any, even Vanagons run 14s. And when you think these things loaded up, James's bus, when he gets it loaded up with his rock and roll Z bed and everything like that, it's going to have a pretty lot of weight in it. And then it's high CG. You do not want to run straight passenger. You need kind of tire that starts with a P is a passenger car tire. Don't run those on your bus, man. Okay, just don't do it. So James is right here. Is uh, these are uh, Mazzini Mazzines, all right? Uh, Effie van. Oh, Effie van. It's an Effie van. These are Effie vans. Van. But here's a, here's the money shot right here. These are 185 R14s. So that's your eight ply uh, uh, truck tire. And uh, I don't think uh, on four teams you're getting kind of limited to what you can you right. can find. I mean, I know uh, 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 <laughs> my zines make up my zinis, uh, hand kooks, and uh, in your street car, not your street car, but in, like in your street tire pattern, you know, more like that. And then we run on a, a Jerry, Helga, and Ziggy, and everything. Uh, we run the uh, uh, General Grabber Mafia, so AT twos. But um, uh, I've ran one eight five R fourteens on. Uh, you know, like on my old 79 Westie, on my 13 window, uh, I ran these two. So that's one thing, folks. Please make sure you're uh, you're not running you're not running past your car tires. So James, what's the uh, what's the fire extinguisher for there? Uh, this should be a must with every Volkswagen. Don't care how new, how good a shape, how bad a shape it's in, you should always have a fire extinguisher. Yes, you should. All your hard work and efforts, you just, you just never know.
Hi, James. Woo! I mean, I'm heading the right direction. Yeah, man. <laughs> so, uh, one of the things, uh, this is James's first experience with re reduction gearboxes, right? And they, there's, we'll show you guys some, but they're like, they're, they're like these huge gears, and they're straight cut gears, and so straight cut gears are gonna make a lot of noise, and they're gonna whine, and so that's what's happening. This one's definitely, you know, that's it. Everything else is great. Shifts nice. I mean, that motor pulls like crazy. James, if you had to give us like one tip for someone that's restoring a VW, what would you say? I would say pay attention to every little nook and cranny. Any little cover, any little, just every little corner. If you pay attention to that, everything else is going to come out great. That's great. That's great. That's really good advice. Yeah, you know, one of the things Jake always gives me a hard time about, but it's the, the hinge caps here. Because these are factory, they, you know, because you're supposed to pull these off, oil your hinges, and then put them back in there. It keeps dust and dunk from getting in there. And so Jake always gives me a hard time when I see those. And a while ago, when we first came here, Jake, Jake just kind of, he goes like this, he goes, Dad. He's kind of, I'm like, it's James, Jake. Come on. <laughs> of course they're already there. So anyway, uh, James, thanks for letting us spend the uh, afternoon with you here. You, checking you guys out are always welcome to stop by. It's just awesome. We're just so happy that, that uh, you are truly bringing this one back to life, man. We, we, you know, at VW Life, that's what we like. When, when these things come back to life and get back out on the road. So, guys, thank you guys so much for uh, tuning in today with us, uh, looking at James's bus. And uh, make sure you subscribe. Tell your aunts. Tell your cousins. Tell everybody out there about VW Life. Make sure you comment. And uh, we will see you guys on down the road.